Hey guys, Wayne here from H2 Tech Videos. Today I'm going to be going over some tips and tricks on the new Samsung Galaxy S10. And these will be a wide range of different tips and things you can do to improve your experience with the phone and just make it a little more unique to, to you. So let's jump right in. The first tip is going to be um, your screen going dim. Obviously the phone is set out of the box to dim after only 30 seconds of not touching the screen. And this can be a little frustrating, so I always encourage people to go in the settings and go ahead and tweak this so your screen doesn't go off so fast. So before I show you that, I'm gonna show you another cool tip that you can now do with this phone, which is if your screen ever goes dark, all you gotta do is tap it and it will wake up automatically. So this is a feature that LG has had for a while and now Samsung does have it. So if your screen is dark on the table, no need to hit the power button, just Go ahead and tap the home screen and it will wake up. And Samsung has a new feature where now the lock screen will change with a different picture every time. So let's wake it up and I'll show you how to go ahead and change that screen timeout feature. So we're gonna swipe down from the top here and click on our settings wheel in the corner. And we're gonna go down to display and look for screen timeout. And it's always set to 30 seconds when you first hit any phone. We're gonna change that to two minutes. So now the screen won't go dim so fast. So that's one of our little tips there. The second one, and this is a big tip that I do on every phone that I get. Um, I always want to see my battery percentage when I see the battery in the corner here. And out of the box, it's not set to do that. So it's a really easy um, tweak to get it to do that. All we're going to do is swipe down, go back to settings, and we want to go to notifications. And then we're going to go to status bar and then we're just going to tap show battery percentage. And now you can always see your battery percentage right at the top of the screen there. So a very minor tweak, but to me it makes a big difference. And I always like to just know where my battery is. So there is that. All right. Our next little tip is going to be also in the settings. A lot of them you'll find there. Uh, let's go to our settings app here. And we're going to go down to the device care section. This used to be called device maintenance, but now it's device care. So um, this is a really important part of the phone. It really um, is a way for you to gauge um, how well is your phone performing? And are there any things that are running in the background that might be hindering the performance? So um, the first thing I want to do before I show you what this does, I'm going to show you how to make this a shortcut on your home screen because you're going to want to check this pretty frequently. So go to the upper right corner, click on the three dots here and tap on show icon on app screen. Now we're going to go home, swipe up and our device care app is there it is. It takes a second to load. So hold on to it. And then tap, oh, hit the wrong button. Hold on to it. Tap add to home screen. And now you'll have this little shortcut that will be right on the home screen. And so what I like to do is if I ever feel like the battery is draining quickly or running slow or just not performing at its normal pace, I'll just open this up and It'll check the device and it'll always give you a score of how well it's doing and then just hit optimize. And this will do a, a more in depth check to see if again, there's any apps that have been running for a long time. If there's anything that's specifically drain the battery and it'll close it out for you. It'll also clear up your RAM for you and just make sure your phone is performing at its peak, uh, at its peak. So you can also check your battery and get more specific and see if there's any specific apps that are draining. Um, you can look at your storage to see how much storage you have left on the phone. You can clean out unnecessary files that may have been downloaded because of being online. Um, so this helps you free up your storage. And you can also check your RAM as well. You can clean that out really quickly by just hitting clean. So that is the device care app. Definitely recommend everyone use that and add it to your home screen so that um, you can just go ahead and, you know, tap that every couple of days to make sure your phone is always running quick and smooth. All right, our next little trick, this is going to be a trick, tip and trick. Swipe down, all the way down, swipe to your left, and you will see a new feature called night mode. And night mode is really cool. It will invert the colors. So instead of the menu being white, it'll be black. 
And um, some of the benefits of this are it looks a lot cooler. It also helps to conserve battery as well because the phone doesn't use as much power when it, uh, the screen is black versus when it's white, it uses more power to produce that color. So um, this is a cool little feature here. And when you go to the settings as well, the settings will also be in black as well. So it's a cool thing. I think I'm gonna you know, change it up. Sometimes I'll have it in dark mode, sometimes I won't. Um, but you know, it's a nice little change and it also makes it easier to see things on the screen as well. All right, our next little tip is gonna be um, how to uh, customize the home screen. So uh, right out of the box, I'll be honest, I'm not very happy with the look of the home screen. All the apps are really large and they look, um, I don't know, it just doesn't look as clean as I'm used to a Samsung phone looking. So I'm gonna show you uh, a few tweaks right here to how to make your home screen look a little bit cleaner and a little bit better. So the first one is gonna be holding down on the screen, going to home screen settings, and we're gonna to go to our uh, app screen grid, or excuse me, our home screen grid, and we're gonna change it from four or five, and I'm just gonna show you how each one is gonna slightly look a little different. So four six gives you an extra row at the bottom, five five you get an extra row on the, or extra column, and five, six gives you uh, two extra rows and an extra column. So now the apps look smaller, and to me, it's just a little bit of a cleaner look. The larger icons are great for a first time user or maybe someone who has uh, uh, problems with uh, you know, seeing things. So uh, it might be easier to have the larger apps, but for me, I kind of like to have the, the smaller apps myself. Um, the second trick you wanna make is swipe down, Go to the settings and we're gonna to go to display and we'll go to font, font size. And so then you can take that font size down just two notches there. I kind of like that one there. And that also will clean things up. Now things will look a little small. So you've, you've got to play around with this setting to kind of see what is gonna work the best for you. But I like the, the small and clean look it also makes, again, the home screen look a little bit cleaner as well. So there's that. There's a few other things in here you can play around with, um, but those are the main two things that uh, I like to adjust. And you can also do a couple some changes here with the coloring if you want to be uh, a little more vivid with the colors, but know that that will drain the battery just a little bit more. So we'll go ahead and stick with that. Now the last little uh, tip in this, uh, little tweak in this section is gonna be holding the home screen going to home screen settings, or excuse me, going to themes. Now with the theme store, you can really take customizing the phone to a whole new level. So uh, aside from just making the apps a little bit smaller and changing the fonts and the, the size of the font, you can change the, the type of icons you have. You can change the wallpaper. You can even change um, the, the background of some of the stock apps. So I love to use the theme app because it really allows you to make the phone uh, more you and more unique. So you're not just having the stock, you know, uh, Samsung wallpaper or Samsung icons. You can really make it whatever you want it to be. So um, I'm just gonna, for the sake of this, I'm just gonna show you there's, there's four sections in here. So there's wallpapers. So there's free and paid wallpaper themes, sports and all kind of cool stuff. There are regular themes, and again, a theme changes everything. It doesn't just change the, the background, it changes the apps, the whole night. So I can just show you one here really quickly. So this theme, this is the wallpaper. All the icons are gonna be green, because that's the theme. Your font and the background of your dialer is different, your text messages, notification panel, everything is going to look different. Even your keyboard is going to be in the green theme. Now, I, I don't want to change the theme because this is a bit much. I really just want to change the icons. I want to um, go back to just a, a different style. So if we hit top, this is a little trick. So we'll go top and go here. We can go right to free and just look at the free themes versus all the paid ones. You know, like to save a dollar or two if I can, especially buying a phone this expensive. Just kidding. So now we can go through here and there's a, 
a big list of just different theme packs. This one in particular, I like, this is an old school Samsung theme pack. I think this is the one I wanna use. So we'll go ahead and tap on there. These normally download really quick. Apply it. Yeah, see this is the theme pack for, um, yeah, some of the older Samsung devices. So our next little tip for you is gonna be swiping down from the top Click on the magnifying glass up here. And this is a search that will search through the entire phone. And it'll help you find anything and everything that's on your phone. So it'll search through text messages, uh, email. It'll also search through your apps. You can have it search the web as well. If there's an app that you don't have downloaded, you can search it up here and it'll find it to make it easier for you. So it's just a, a search everything option, which is great. Our next little tip is gonna be launching the camera um, right from your power button. So all you gotta do, if you ever wanna launch your camera, is just hit your power button twice. It'll automatically turn the screen on and launch the camera. This will also work if you're in another app. So let's say I'm, I don't know, I'm on Google Chrome and I'm Googling something and all of a sudden I wanna take a picture, hit that twice, it'll automatically kick over to the camera so you never miss a moment. So that's a really good feature to use. I use that all the time, so I always love to share about that. And our very last tip of the video, this one, um, some people may figure this out on their own, but I felt like it was worth uh, noting. So if you go to the camera, you will notice that um, the ratio is a three by four ratio. This is, a, or excuse me, four by three is the stock ratio that the camera is set on. I like to change it from 3-4 to either 9-6, so it gives you more in the picture, or, and right in the middle, it's asking me to approve all of this, okay, let's do this later. Or we can change it to the full, and we can use that full lens there and get an even wider, better picture. So. Um, wanted to point that out because sometimes you just want to get more in your shot and to do that this is how you adjust it now what's cool is they also have a 1 1 ratio which is great for uh, Instagram or for Facebook so if you want that perfect shot that fits right into the Instagram um, um, feed then this would be the setting you want to play it on so play around with this to see which setting is going to be the best for your shot and definitely felt that was worth noting in the video. Hope you guys did find that helpful. Make sure you like, favorite, and share if it was helpful. Hit that subscribe button. We've got a ton more videos to come. We're only getting started. We appreciate you guys watching. Also on the next screen, go ahead and check out our new site, Tech Made Easy. And we're gonna have other content for the S10 on there as well. So we don't want you to miss anything. So subscribe to both. Stay tuned and also follow us on Instagram at HT Tech Videos for monthly giveaways and a bunch of the cool stuff. Thanks again for watching. Take care and have a good one.